everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So we're gonna do a hobo deco this week. I'm gonna be using all stamps. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so we're gonna jump into the hobo this week and we're gonna do some stamping on here. So it's been something that's been requested for a while actually that I do a week in here that's um, all all stamped out. So what I've done is I've grabbed a couple of my old Kayser Craft um, stamp collections. I just figured you guys probably have seen enough of Lawn Fawn, so maybe let's not do that. Uh, and I'm going to do this as a bit of a green theme. That's sort of where I'm going with it. But I have no idea if it's going to work. No, just no idea. Alright, so we're going to start off with a bit of a border. So I don't know what collections most of these came from, but if I remember I will let you know have a feeling this one was from Daydreamer, maybe. Um, but I want to grab this sort of bordery kind of one and I want to put that at the top and the bottom of both pages. Now, do I want to use the squiggle or the crosses? The squiggle. The squiggle. Oh, now things I know notice now that I'm a little bit, I play with stamps a little bit more often. The Kayser Craft ones are a lot. Um, floppier and they're a lot harder to get a really nice impression and that's just because they're a different kind of material. These are acrylic I think and whereas the other ones are polymer so I, I think, don't quote me on that. Um, but so what I've done is I've grabbed um, a bunch of oxides so I've got Lucky Clover, Shabby Shutters, Twisted Citron, Mowed Lawn, Pine Needles, Evergreen Bough and Cracked Pistachio. And I'm just going to look at them and work out which ones I think I want to put together. But I'm just going to try and use as much green as I possibly can. So I'm going to start with Lucky Clover, I think. Start with Lucky Clover. I'm just going to ink this up. Okay. Get rid of those. Now this is my um, mess up page. I have one in here just so I can test what works and what doesn't so I'm kind of skipping through that one and then on to the next thing. I need to get need to get some height under that to make it flat. I'm just grabbing out one of my mats. There we go, that's better. So it just gives this means it's flat. It just gives me a bit it's a little bit easier to work with. Oh that looks like an ocean. No we've got this way. I'm just going to stamp that on the top. Yeah, it doesn't look great, but it'll do. Uh, I'm going to go right across the top on the other one as well. And just kind of join them up. And then at the bottom, I might just go just a little bit darker. So I'll go into pine needles for the bottom one. I think the fun of playing in here is that I don't mind so much if something doesn't quite work. It's, it's not the end of the world. Not that it's ever the end of the world, but eh. Alright, so we'll put that one away and then we'll just come in with all my stamps for my days of the week and then we can start doing a bit of decorating. So, I've grabbed out two K's of craft sets that kind of go together. So you've got the, the months and then you've got the days, but they do work really well together. I'm just trying to decide if I want to use the, yeah, we're going to do the blocks. So I'm just going to stamp these out just right over the top. As per normal with my hobo, I'm not going to do... Um, I'm not going to do the dates, I'm just going to do the days. And I'm going to go down in, in colour order. So I'm going to start with my lightest for Monday and then come down. So I'm going to go Shabby Shutters, Twisted Citron, Mowed Lawn, Cracked Pistachio, Evergreen Bough, Lucky Clover and Pine Needle. So that's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc, etc. Just so we can bring in all the different shades and considering we've got seven, which was actually a fluke, I didn't do that on purpose. But it's a, a cool kind of accident. Um, now with hobos, I never worry about covering up the dates. The days, they are so faint in the background. I can see them sometimes, but I don't it doesn't bother me as much, so I figure I'll just ignore it. It's hard to see the days backwards. So let's go ahead and do this, and I'll be right back. Sometimes for stamping, um, the oxides pick up just a little bit too much. 
colour so it, it blurs a little bit. So all I'm going to do is just stamp that off onto a bit of scrap paper. And clean it off so I get rid of all the bits that are juiced up in there and just tap a little bit lighter. That's better. Just so that I don't get a, a blurred out. Although that looks a lot like, like a slime, a slime monster kind of one. about some of these Kayser Craft ones, there are kind of plannery related things on here. So I'm going to do some decorating with some stamps, but most of the time I think I'll stick with kind of um, main plannery kind. So I'm going to have, I'm just having, putting them all out in front of me, just checking what I've kind of got. I do have some decorative ones that I want to put on. I really want to, actually I'm going to use this one first. This one's a neat and tangled one. I got it in a sale. I think I got it when I bought some um, lawn fawn ones. I'm just going to grab a different block for this one. But I want to try and do a gradient or a, a um, oh, what is the word? Ombre effect. I knew, I, I knew I'd get the word eventually. I'm having issues getting that in the, on the block. All right. So I'm going to put, so I'm going to have it at this top corner, so I'm going to put some of the lighter colours. So I'm going to put mowed lawn, cracked pistachio and um, evergreen bow. No, yeah, evergreen bow. So I'm going to start with, that's my, yeah, yeah, those three, yeah. So this is actually easier than it looks, or easier than it sounds. The only harder part, so the first one's easy, obviously because you put that one on the side and then for cracked pistachio that's a little bit harder because you don't want the ink to come on here so all I do grab that bit of scratch paper again cover it up you kind of want it to blend into the the mode lawn a little bit so just ink that up okay and then the next one's really easy as well because you just kind of go in over the top. So that bit of paper becomes your friend. So I'm just inking that up, making sure I've got a good coverage. Now part of me wants to stamp this on here first, but the other part of me just wants to see what I get. So I'm kind of going to go with that. And I'm actually going to put it right in the middle. I feel like that's, it's a really good one to have right in the middle. So. So you get that ombre thing that works really well I, I really like that one it works really well with rainbow if, if you're ever interested in playing with those kind of things ombre with the oxides look really good as rainbow I probably should have done a different color in between that but that's okay okay so from there I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put one of these in so this is like a check box Ugh, like one of those um habit trackers. So I'm going to put a habit tracker in, but I'm just going to take off. So again, I'm being a bit selective with what I ink up. So I'm going to put this with the mode lawn. No, it's Twisted Citron. I'm trying to remember to tell you guys what the colour is, but if it's bugging you, please let me know and I'll stop doing it in future videos. Alright, so that's all inked up. And I'm just grabbing my little um, microfiber cloth and I'm just taking the ink off the bit that says date because I don't want it and then I'll go back in and just a little bit more carefully uh, you know what I don't think it's gonna work because I think it's too small I think it is too small of a of a area I'm just gonna try again with the tissue only because because the microfiber cloth is a bit bigger it's a bit harder to do this We'll give it a shot anyway. If it gets there, it gets there. If it doesn't, it doesn't. 
Now I'm just going to put this in the top corner. This is going to be kind of like my habit tracker. So did I take Jet for a walk or did I drink enough water? Actually that hasn't, that's actually worked not too badly. So you kind of still have the shadow of it but not too bad. I reckon, just to kind of help me add a little bit of definition to that, this is just me testing something. It's probably a little bit too dark that one. Thankfully I have tons of shades of these ones that I can kind of match up to see what works. Always. So I'm just going to grab this one's lime green and I just want to put in those dashes again because they came off. So I've actually just put them back. They're very, very subtle. You can barely tell but they're there. Another one. So I've got the tracker at the top. I'm going to put this little banner at the bottom. Have it sitting. Kind of here as a bit of a to-do list. Although that's way too big. All right. Let's see if we can do some selective stamping again. that I actually want on the on the page. And again I'll just help myself out and protect this by doing putting this piece of scrap paper down. Actually that's kind of that that wasn't what I meant to do but that's actually worked out really well because it kind of looks like it's coming in off the side of the page so that I won't even worry about it. I was going to try and ink up the other side and just sort of stamp it down but I reckon I'll leave it just like that and then on this one there's a to do I think no maybe not there's a don't forget a reminder and an important I'm sure one of them had to do written on it all right because I can't find it I'm just going to grab this one I think this one's from Sassy Dreams I think I'm just going to put that in the same green so I got that one and then while I was in my drawer I found this one this one came in one of my planet bait boxes I think and it's got this little star checklist so I'm going to stamp this on the other side and that one would be my happy mouth for want of a better word I'll just do that a shade darker so we'll just go down into evergreen bow no pine needle I'm going to stamp this off onto my scratch paper first because I haven't ever used this stamp before, I don't think. So I just want to make sure it's got, it's been prepped a little bit. Righto, so there's all my, for want of a better, like functional stuff. Now let's go in and put a little bit of decoration on here. So all I'm trying to do here is just add some fun. I don't know why I want to use this, but I do because I don't ever use these kind of Hello Weekend kind of ones. So I thought, well, why not? Plus, I really want to do another ombre. <laughs> I really do. Uh, so I'm going to use, I'm going to go with pine needles and evergreen bow and just do a two, like a half and half. So half on one side and then half on the other. And just a little bit of overlap. I just realized my mistake there. I haven't put that to the mat so I don't know whether that'll help but yeah that's horrible and that is my only fear sometimes with stamps is that you're gonna mess that up and because it's a hobo I don't want to put I'm just I'm just gonna get over it. I'm just gonna get over it because um, I don't want to put like a piece of paper down because the hobo is obviously a different color so yeah always make sure you you're on a, a solid surface especially if you're going anywhere near the, the spine of the of the book so that's unfortunate but it's not the worst thing now I did have this awesome um, 
I think this is from the Breathe collection. I really had thoughts of using this one because I thought with the greens it would look really cool. But now I think that's kind of gone past that. So I'm going to use some of these ones from that original set we used. I'm just going to do a couple of little stampies in different spots in the different colours. Taggy at the top. Ooh. I might just pull all the ones that I want off. <sighs> might be easier. In my experience, if the if the stamps are harder to pull off their backing sheet, that doesn't mean they're good. That means it's not as good. So I've got a little star here with the shabby shutters. And I'm going to come a little bit over here because I feel like I haven't done enough on this side of the page other than just the just the stance. Although I shouldn't have put that in the same spot. Oh well. Learnings. So I think I think that's okay. It's got everything that I need it to have. It's obviously got the days of the week. I've got a little bit of ink around the place. It's not perfect. This is definitely going to drive me bonkers but I think that's the difference and I mean this in the nicest possible way because Kayser Craft do fabulous fabulous things and their their stamps are at a very low price point which because of that you kind of give them a little bit more of a um, hold on I'm just sort of something else I want to do while I'm here um, you give them a little bit more of a oh no I've lost that one damn I thought I had a little checkbox Hold on, I'll bring in mine because I know I've got a checkbox. Um, they are at a bit of a lower price point, so because of that reason, you, you kind of give them a bit more slack. But it, it is really the difference between a really good stamp set and not such a great stamp set when you can see how much crisper they are. So these ones here, so the the Sassy Dreams ones, the one out of even the, the Planet Bay box, the ones that are from Dawn and Me, and these this one here from, um, oh, I do know who it was from. Who was it? I really need to use it more often too. I've, I've made a mess here. Um, sorry, from Neat and Tangled. You can tell they are the higher quality ones because the, the stamp is a little bit crisper whereas the other ones are just a little bit fuzzy around the edges but generally speaking you can get away with this if you're just starting and stamping then Kayser Craft is an absolutely fantastic place to start you can learn some of the bits and pieces that you need with it and then grow up to the better stuff I still use a bunch of Kayser Craft stamps especially for backgrounds because that's sort of not as necessary for them to be perfectly crisp they kind of look good a little bit blurry but yeah, you, you can see the difference when they put all in together. So there we go, there's a week in my hobo using stamps. I hope this hasn't been too kind of over the top crazy. I just really wanted to grab out a bunch of inks and a bunch of stamps and just go for it and see what came out. And that's definitely what I've got. I like it. Definitely wouldn't be having any issues with using that one. There is a little bit of bleed through onto the other side. That's okay. I've been finding that um, like if you're using any kind of ink, you are going to get that bleed through just a little bit. If that's the worst that it's going to be, well, then I can deal with that. And then when we do next week, you'll just have that bleed through a little bit. But generally, that's pretty good. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to suggest other themes you'd like to see me try in my hobo. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, whatever you're doing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.